Hello, my name is Micheline Chi. I'm a Regents Professor at Arizona State University and also the Dorothy Bray Endowed Professor in Science and Teaching in the Mary Lou Fulton Teachers College. I'm deeply honored and grateful to be named the 2023 Laureate for the Yidan Prize for Education Research. I want to thank the Judging Committee and the Yidan Prize Foundation for recognizing me and the role that the conduct of science of learning plays in teaching. What drives me is the goal of figuring out how to help learners of all ages understand difficult concepts, especially in science and engineering. This goal translates into the research question of how can we support educators to be more effective in their teaching so that students can learn with deeper understanding. To answer this question, I assume that how teachers teach should be informed by how students learn. This assumption requires integrating knowledge from two distinct yet related disciplines, education and psychology. Using this interdisciplinary approach, my colleagues and I have developed a theory called ICAP that differentiates students' behavior while engaging with instructional materials into four engaging modes. These four modes consist of engaging in collaboration with a peer, or the interactive mode, engaging in generating knowledge, or the constructive mode, engaging in manipulating the learning materials, or the active mode, and engaging in paying attention, or the passive mode, thus the acronym ICAP. These four modes of student engagement behavior lead to different levels of learning. The ICAP framework can help educators design learning experiences that are more effective in achieving learning goals. This can be used across a variety of disciplines and it can be applied to both online and physical learning environments. I think the biggest uh, impact that's, that ICAP has so far has been with our students learning STEM, the science, technology, engineering, math kind of concepts, because these concepts are very difficult for students to understand, and they really need to be constructive and possibly interactive in order to understand these concepts. Because both college and K-12 classrooms spend over 80% of their time on passive and active activities, with very little time spent on constructive or interactive active activities, there's much room for improvement. Simplifying students' engagement behaviors into four categories makes it extremely easy for teachers and instructors to adopt ICAF for modifying their lectures in minute ways or for designing their students' activities guided by ICAP. I'm confident that we can easily scale up the dissemination of ICAP by developing professional developments for teachers and practitioners. That's the goal of my Eden Funder project. Lastly, I want to thank my colleagues, postdocs, and graduate students for extending and supporting ICAP's predictions in their studies, as well as the many learning scientists who have utilized ICAP for coding teacher behaviors and lesson plans. I look forward to exchanging ideas with the Eden community of scholars and to be part of this collective effort of improving the quality of education around the world.